Welcome to Art Handling 101. My name is Jacqueline and I'm the Chief Creative Officer of Art Bean. Here we have Emily, Art Specialist, and Talia, Art Specialist. First we're going to start out with a work on paper, show you how to properly handle it. So works on paper and works on canvas, when works on canvas are unstretched, are very, very similar. You don't want to handle them with your thumbs. I'll actually take my gloves off to show you. So you don't want to handle them with your pointer and your thumb because that can create an imprint on the canvas or the work on paper. Also, when you are handling works on canvas or on paper, you do want to have these white cotton gloves as to not create a fingerprint because fingerprints are the hardest kinds of um, stains to get off of canvases and paper. So as Jacqueline is holding her work on paper, she has the scissor effect. That's what we want to do in order to hold all of our works on paper or on canvas that are unstretched. Always the scissor effect as she has, as to not create a dent in the paper or as to create a fingerprint or acidic marks on the work. Next, we're gonna start talking about the small work that Talia is holding here. Hello. So for small stretched works, we want to hold it towards us instead of away from us to prevent the possibility of bumping into something and potentially ruining your work of art. Um, if it's small like this, you can very easily hold it with two hands, um, just one person, unlike the large work behind me. So you want to hold it like this, exactly like so, with your thumb against the stretcher, and that way you can just sort of work with it. Lovely. And as Talia mentioned, we want to hold the work on canvas that's been stretched by the sides, so it's not to create stress on the canvas. If you decided to hold it from the stretcher bar itself, it will create stress on the canvas, and it will ruin not only the painted part of the canvas, but it can start to crack the painting, and it can put stress, and stress can stretch the painting itself. So you would have to essentially re-stretch your canvas. Next, I'm gonna have our lovely ladies put down the works of art, and then we're gonna go to the, our larger work. So considering these two ladies already have gloves on, I'm gonna have them hold the painting while I discuss how you handle it. So what we're going to do is support the large painting on either side with two hands as to not put stress, as we mentioned, with the small canvas on the canvas itself. We want, ladies, you want to pick it up? And just hold it from the sides of the stretcher bar so you don't put stress on it. Like the smaller work on canvas, we don't want to hold it from the top of the stretcher bar and you can't handle it with one person. A large work is something you should never handle by yourself so you don't destroy the work. Um, so as our ladies are doing, they're holding it top and on the bottom to create a sort of balance for the work on canvas, which you want to do so it doesn't create any stress. That's it for our handling 101.